No fewer than 100 miners operating between Anchor and Mara local government areas of Zamfara State in Nigeria's northwest have been abducted by bandits. The Emir of Anchor, Al Haji Atahairu Ahmed, disclosed this on Tuesday in Gosau. Ahmed, who is also the chairman of the State Council of Chiefs, made this known when the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Rabo, led service chiefs on an assessment visit to Governor Bello Matawali. According to him, the bandit also killed 10 persons during an invasion of a mining site in the state. He said the incident which occurred on March 2nd was overshadowed by the abduction of the 279 Jangabi schoolgirls by another gang of bandits on the same day. The bandits have been attacking those involved in artisanal mining and cutting away their money and property. There is a disconnect between miners and bandits in the state, so was surprised when the declaration of a no-fly zone was recently slammed on our state over suspected arms supply and illegal mining when the state does not even have an airport. We know that there are states with more security challenges than Zanfa and we are expected that if such order will be issued, it should be also cover such states. Our artisanal miners who are licensed have been very helpful to the state economic growth and they have played significant roles in ameliorating the hardship faced by the IDPs in the state by supporting them, he said. The first class traditional ruler who called for the more security personnel to fight bandit when the state noted that the peace dialogue and initiative of our governor has become necessary because at the moment we have fewer than 5,000 security men fighting over 30,000 bandits, he said. Ahmed, however, assured the service chief that the people in the state will continue to pray for their success. He urged the CDS to ensure that there is a synergy among all the segments of the military during operation in order to block all escape routes against the criminals. Responding, the CDS commended the role played by the traditional rulers in fighting crime and urged them to continue to engage their subjects in giving credible information that would lead to the containment of bandits. On his part, Matewali assured that his administration will intensify its peace and dialogue as well as support the security in sustaining onslaught against unrepentant bandits.